Japanese pair at the top of the draw, as you can see. But who will they play? Will it be the French pair that's been in great form, Tom Chiquel and Delphine Delroux? Or the beaten finalists from four years ago, Champen Soon and Go Liu Ying? The Malaysians, of course, the Olympic silver medalists as well from Rio de Janeiro. Well, it all started at 10 o'clock this morning. We've had nine matches so far, one more to come. And it is that last mixed doubles with the number three seeds, Champen Soon and Go Liu Ying, up against the number seven seeds, Tong Shiko and Delphine Delru. Well, as we've just seen, the mixed doubles draw, five different nationalities, two Danes, two Malaysians, two from Japan in the quarter-final stage, two Japanese pairs already through to the semi-finals. And who will join them? Will it be two European pairs or will it be three Asian pairs at semi-final stage? Well, this will be a fourth meeting, I can tell you, between these two pairs and all three previous encounters have been won by the Malaysians, but the last time they played was in the first round of the Fuzhou China Open in 2019. Two straight games, so it was very close, wasn't it? 52 minutes in Fuzhou, uh, but in my opinion, I think Tom Jiquel and Delphine Delru have improved considerably in the interim period. I think they're a completely different pair now, much better pair than they were at that China Open. Well, they've lost all three previous matches and they've lost all three previous matches in two straight games. But I think Duffy. today might be different. Duffy. Black or red? Uh, red? Red. Black. That side? So? Delphine serve. Chance to receive. Thank you. The Malaysians chose ends, wanting to start the far side of the court as we look down. Well, the Malaysians have been in partnership since 2008. And what a partnership they've had. Olympic silver medal, All England final, that was back in 2017. They lost out to Liu Kai and Huang Yashong in the final. 31 years of age now, Go Liu Ying from the historic state of Malacca. His partner, Chan Peng Soon, is 32, so he's going to turn 33 next month. Shares a birthday with Chris Adcock, by the way, but he's a year older than Chris. Born in Penang and seven in the world ranking, but they have been as high as three. Now you can see in the first round, uh, they beat Tue and Sorov of Denmark, three games. That was actually played yesterday. Both of their matches played yesterday. But look at their results against the Thai combination of Puang Puapet and Ansad. 23 minutes for nine and eight. That was really, I was quite shocked by the scoreline there. So to the French combination, and Delphine Delroux is 22 years of age from Sassel on the suburbs of Paris. She and her partner are enjoying their second consecutive week at a career high ranking of 10. Tom Jiquel is also 22 years of age from Tours, West Central France the gateway to the Loire Valley wine region. And they are fresh from victory at the Swiss 300 event, their first world tour title. And in the first round, they beat Hemming and Williams in just 26 minutes, the English combination, and then had a terrific match against the Malaysians, uh, Chen and Peck in yesterday's match, an hour and a minute for that three-game victory, 21-14 in the deciding game. So Amanda Bela from England is our umpire for this one, and Christian Johannesson of Denmark, the service judge.
all four world tour titles for this Malaysian pair to date but all of them have been at Super 300 level one Super Series title in the year of the Super Series that was the 2012 Japan Open Ladies and gentlemen on my right Chan Pen Soon and Go Liu Ying Malaysia and on my left, Tom Chiquel, Delphine Delroux, France. Delphine Delroux to serve, to Chan Pen Soon. Lolo. Play. So the young French pair of Jiquel and Delroux nearest to us getting this quarterfinal underway against the Olympic silver medalists. Chan Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying. One love. More than a fair assessment when I said that I thought their last Two. encounter that love. the French pair had improved considerably since then. Extremely fair. Yeah. Extremely fair. Um, it's it's going to be really a close match if both pairs are, are playing to expectations um, the the French pair has improved leaps and bounces uh, over the last let's say what's the last six months or so yeah so uh, they they really play well getting better and better they they don't look of much that's again a harsh way of putting it but you know, it, it's not flashy style or anything, but it's very solid, it's very simple, but it's very difficult to get them out of position and, and put them under pressure and so on. They make good choices when they play. So um, it's, it's a solid pair and they will definitely get even better than what they are now. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice shot from Go Liu Ying. Beautiful. Just brushing that off the top of the tape. Poor old Go Lu Ying has had her injury woes, hasn't she? She's had shoulder operations, both knees on, operated on. Yeah. Yeah, she spent, uh, I think, five or six weeks in uh, in Germany with uh, a shoulder injury and, and uh, an operation. Yeah, that's right, she did. So... Um, Yes, she has had a fair share. Yeah. Now you see, that's a perfect example of what you were talking about. There's nothing flashy about that return no. of serve, but it's, it's so good. effective. It's good, it's solid. It's quick enough to dip below the tape and that's enough. And that was a sitter. But it was really well played by, by Deru, the way that she sort of played the block shot cross and then setting partner up nicely for the attack. And this is a good opportunity she was missing. Mm. <laughs> Quick young man. Actually won gold at the European Junior Championships in men's doubles, didn't he, with Toma Popov? Yes, he did. And now completely only concentrating on his mixed doubles. Lovely angle again. 
That's a couple of times already in this match that Tom Chiquel has played that cross court from his forehand side and gained great advantage. It's a nice angle, isn't it? It is. If you look at it from the point of view of uh, Chan Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying, they, they need to be more proactive now. They're, they're sitting back too much. Um, they really have to take the game to their opponents and at the moment they are too passive. Good shot from uh, Chan Peng Soon. Played into the mix area into between uh, the two players and it dipped just below the tape again, forcing Tom to play from a low position. Good play from uh, Chan Peng Soon. Oh yeah, finds the line. She's got a younger brother, hasn't she, Delphine Delarue, that's also a very good, talented player, Fabian. Yeah, I've seen, uh, I've seen the, um, the results in, in tournaments, yes. Yeah. I haven't seen him play. Oh, good defence. Oh, that was over ambitious. Service over. Six, eight. Delightful drop from Chiquel. French coach there. Baptiste Karen. disappointed with herself but I like the way she played she wanted to play that block shot despite the fact that Liu Ying was standing there and, uh, and I think that takes courage of course she missed it but the idea is good not lifting more than what you have to Record from Tom Chiquel and the French combination have the advantage, three point advantage at the mid game interval. Jin Iwi, former world number one in the women's doubles, doing the coaching for the Malaysians. Yeah, she's a very good coach and very popular with the players. Now we're coaching in the independent group.
Yeah, it was a nice idea to try and take the pace out of that from Delvaru. Yeah, the, the Malaysians, they need a follow-up on, on that very fine, flat, counter-attacking shot from that one there, from uh, Chan Peng Sun. I would have liked that one of the players would have moved with it and tried to close down the net. Had the block shot come over, then it would just be another lift. It's worth the challenge. Oh, and they have challenged, yes, yeah. indeed. Challenges called out. Oh, it did catch the line. Yeah. Correction in. That's a great challenge. So this over. Very interesting article I read recently about Baptiste Carin in the uh, French coach because he was talking about his approach is instead of doing group development, he likes to work with the players individually and look at the, each pair or each player and say, where does this player need to improve rather than uh, he felt there'd been too much group development. Orientated, group. yes. yes. Yeah, I yeah. understand completely what he's saying. Yeah. I like that approach. Yeah, there he is. It was only very recently that he was playing. He was one yeah, of the not top, long ago. Not a long at all, a couple of years or so. Yeah, that's the clever one. That's a beauty. Brilliant. Ooh. 16, 9. Yeah, held it to the last moment before driving it across court. Great disguise. Yeah, that's in. Yeah. Don't leave it on that back line. 10, 16. Well played by Peng Sun. And there is some catching up to be done here. Well, there's only ever been one Malaysian to win the All England Mixed Doubles title. And you have to go back 68 years and the late David Chung won with June White, or June Timperley, as she became. Mixed nationality pairing. No, oh, that's clever. They're, yeah. they're really making the Malaysians take the shuttle really low, aren't they? They give them nothing to work with. Again, this block shot here, this that's coming, this one here, the winner, just behind Liu Ying. Yeah. And there's nothing she can do. No. I don't know what, what you think, Jill, but uh, I had this feeling coming into this match, watching this match and doing the commentary on it, uh, that the French pair seems to be a pair that needs to learn during the match they play. And very often they lose the first game. Am I, am I right on that? Or is that just a feeling I have? I don't, don't particularly remember them. 
I think they play a lot of three games. Yeah, you may be right. I know that when they beat Jordan and Octa the Ante at the uh, first round of the Yonix Thailand Open, the first yeah. of the Super 1000 events in January, they dropped the opening game but yeah. came back to win it. Yeah. Yeah. I just, ha I just have this feeling. I, I haven't researched it completely, but it's just this, I kind of sense it. But it's a great skill, isn't it? That if you can learn as you go along in the match. Yeah, absolutely. It was the good defence from Del Rue that turned the momentum of the rally. That one. And look, she's followed forward. Yeah, she's got a good smash behind her. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, she was expecting yeah. Chaping soon to play that. Yes, she did. <laughs> Says more than words. <laughs> <laughs> Just what I was thinking. on yeah. the return of serve. And I think that's one of the things that's kind of distinguishing the two pairs at the moment is the French pair is better out of the service situation, either serving themselves or receiving. Mm. Well, that could play as a five game point opportunities. That's well left. Convert on their third game point opportunity. And it's the first game they've ever taken of Champing Sun and Go Liu Ying. Well played in the opening game by Jiquel and Del Rue. 21 17 in 17 minutes.
So the former finalists, the number three seeds, Chen Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying, have their work cut out here because they were, in all honesty, for most of that opening game, they were off the pace. Out, I would have called it out. Yes, yeah, there's no challenge, so I'm sure you're right. So the set there. One love. Yeah, good call, line judge. Good glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, Morton. Again, on the return of serve, so the pressure. Yeah, there is a lot pressure from the two French players when it comes to that service situation and I also feel that they serve slightly better than the Malaysian pair. Well, there's been great consistency so far this year from Champion Soon and Go Liu Ying. This is the fourth tournament of the year and the fourth quarter final but it seems to me Morton as if they've just lost a little bit of the the edge the little bit extra that they had when they won the uh, Olympic silver medal and all England final previously yeah, when when they did that uh, Liu Ying was uh, extremely dominant at the net she was scoring a lot of points and setting up uh, Peng Sun very very well from uh, at the back um, it, as you say they have lost a little bit of that dynamic and they tend to sit back a little bit too much and they play a little bit too passively lifting too much mm. um, so it's, it's, it's trouble they really have to try to find uh, that situation like this good serving from Ping Sun a short lift and putting it away getting the point that's what they need to do more. And that's where we see Liu Ying so good at the net, her interception so strong. And uh, that's where they're winning a lot of points when she's at her best. Excellent play. Service over. Five, four. Oh. But that's well played. Ever since I said that they are not uh, attacking enough, <laughs> they've been playing really well. And I like the last shot here from Go Lu Ying. Look at that, the way that she's able to get that cross court. And of course, completely catching Tom off, off guard. I think that's a lovely shot. Really good shot. Little hand signal, just letting her partner know where she's going to serve to. Yeah, she's got a very steady safe serve. Little challenge here by the Malaysians. Go, you, 
immune challenges called out. Yeah, it was a good cool line judge. Yeah, it was Challenge slightly was hesitant. I think One that's what challenge. prompted it. So this over. Five and six. Play. Play. That's good defensive work. Six. They were under severe pressure. Both the French players' defence absolutely wonderful. Yeah, but you have to feel with uh, Peng Sun and Liu Ying, I think they played good rally there. They do the right things and they had the total control. <laughs> oh, yeah. Service so over. Seven, six. Well, it wasn't the best of flick serves, was it? But it was very well played by Gu Liu Ying. Delightful return of serve, isn't it? There's almost a little bit of top spin on that. Yes. Oh, and that's a much, much better start here from uh, Peng Sun and uh, Liu Ying. Oh. Ah! Service over. Eight all. both feet from champion soon after you made that error there little sign of the frustration What a lovely, lovely lift there from so Tom Shikia. Cross court into the deep forehand corner. This one here, look yeah. at that one, that excellent shot. That's very, very good awareness. Oh, the error on the flick serve from yeah. Delphine. There's no doubt that the French are trying to pin uh, doing uh, at the back as much as possible. Yeah, clever smash from Champing Sun. And the Malaysians have a one point advantage at the mid game interval here in the second game. 
住呢間醫院係休休休休殺係嘅，做又先，你要要 set 下醫生做做先，你跟跟住要要要標一點點嘅，明白嗎？做先，然後還有打上來這個球，你一跳，比如你身邊打上來你一跳，他在重複，他只是給了你嗎？那個球這裡就打，不要他給了你，如果你這個你你又在要這樣子給，要這樣子跳。这个给啊，哥这边盖，正想办法盖掉啦。尤其是你，你拎的 OK 啊，你的袋啊嘛，要变成是你太顶，然后打打盖盖完就走，移动，咩、yeah? ？How much Bahasa did you pick up during your time in Malaysia?、Oh. <laughs> the odd words now and again, I can so say you, good morning, hello and welcome and stuff so like that. You can't give us a translation then? No, I can't. I can't. I can do possibly a hundred words, but uh, no translation. They were far too nice to me. They spoke English. <laughs> And if they did not agree with me, it came in Chinese <laughs> and Bahasa. <laughs> oh, good smash. Oh, oh, my goodness. Yeah, see, that's much, much, much better. Yeah. 13, 10. Hopefully a little block follows forward and then the decisive oh. interception. Five straight points now. Nine, ten down they were. He's a father of four now, isn't he? He is. Two yes. boys and two girls. That I don't know, but I know yeah, it's four kids. So. Yeah. And I read in the paper that he's quite enjoying his time at home. You know, it's so unusual for him to be at home as much as what he is now due to the pandemic. Wanted to attack the serve, champing soon, but the serve was too good. He couldn't. Yeah, he had to play his shot upwards, and that put him in trouble. Good serving by Tom. Just wide. Yeah, that's where I left. I think we're treated. To a decider? Yes. No, I wouldn't be surprised either. Oh. 
Looking more and more like a deciding game, isn't it? Yes, it does. Just lost a little bit of discipline, the French pair. Well, that one wasn't going to come back, was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was put away. <laughs> oh, that's good too. He's got a very, very fast racket, hasn't he? Yeah. Very fast indeed. And by that we mean that he generates the power with very little backswing and very little follow through. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, lucky neck cords. So it's over. Yes. 19, 15. Oh. Launched himself towards the net. Make that kill. That's real commitment. Yeah, when well, you have to consider he's got to cover the back as well. He believes in his own ability. Yeah. That's a change of pace from Shikel. 17, 19. Hey. So, will they catch up? Just two points in it now. Hey. That's a nice block. Wow. Yeah. Well covered that half court area 19, 19. by the Rue. Just one point in it now. Quick. Yeah, super interception. So do you think the flick serve is coming? No, I think she'll serve short. Oh. It's well saved by Pinkson. Really well yes, saved from incredible. a tricky, tricky situation. Two game point opportunities now to level this quarter final at one game apiece. One game all, 21-18. Second game for the number three seeds, Champing Soon and Go Liu Ying. And the Olympic silver medalists still fighting for the opportunity to reach at least the semi-final. Stop 
结到两个娃娃，竟然打，他们现在打不起高啊，没有什么后场球嘛，那总是你一给，你抓回重复，他他一直打回重复。Now, what's the delay here? The music. The umpire wanted the music to yeah, fade out. Quite right, too. So, third and a signing game. Oh, yes, good defence. Well, Morton, you said that you thought the Malaysians ought to be more proactive. Yes. And they certainly have been since the second game, haven't since they? Since ever I said it. Mm. So, yes, let's see if they can follow up here in the third game. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, oh. that hit the blue carpet. But on the other hand, had it been in, it would have been a winner. It was really steep. But yes, it was way out. That's a missed opportunity. Mm. Two all. Yeah, there was a big gap at the front there, wasn't there? He knew it all the way, that one was going out. Three. Hardly moved, Chan Peng Sun. It was a call from his partner though, wasn't it, to leave it? Or to take it. It was more like it was yours, and he just left it, I think. Okay. Landed in a misjudgment there from Tom Shiko. That's a lovely little yes. delicate shot, though, isn't it? From goal. Look at that. Yes, in mixed doubles, is often these soft shots that's really paying dividends. And I think that uh, the French pair could benefit from playing a few more soft ones because they're sort of getting trapped into the flat, fast and furious play by the two Malaysians, which is obviously their style of play. And I think they, 
the French pair could possibly benefit from playing a little bit more what I would call traditional mixed doubles with blocks and finding the mid-court areas and, and all that. I think they could benefit yeah. from it. String is gone. Well, he did well to control that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, she could really try to do what I was uh, advocating, but well played by Ping Sun. Covered very nicely at the net for his partner. Yeah, he's hunting that more, isn't he? In the opening game, Chen Ping Sun was, was just sort of standing back. He wasn't really exactly. hunting to come forward like that. Exactly. We're getting into a 27-25 situation. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going for the 30-29 oh, We seldom get there. <laughs> oh, that's a very good placement of the smash. Does have a tendency, goalie Ying, to be committed one side or the other for yeah. her defence. She's very one-sided in, in defence, I agree with you. Great serve. Uh, and is, if she's guessed right, like on that occasion, it's yes. a wonderful defensive shot. Yes, exactly. She was waiting backhand defence and it came backhand. And what a lovely counter attacking shot there. Yeah. Body language of the French pair at the moment is a little bit down, isn't it? Yeah. started when uh, Peng Sun was playing yes. a brilliant cross block shot from his forehand to the uh, forehand side of the two French players and from there onwards the uh, Malaysian pair just took control. Longest rally of this deciding game so far.
you know, the plant carpet has gone at the back. So I think they need to repair it. Yeah, need some running repairs there. So as we're waiting for that to be done, Morton, I've got to ask you about uh, women's singles predictions for tomorrow. What a great lineup we've got. Yes. Chocha Wong against the reigning world champion. Sindhu. Sindhu and then the two former world champions. Uh, Rachanok and Okuhara. Yeah. And you want me to guess who's winning? No, no, no. Who will I be in the final? Well, if you're, if you're that brave, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm brave. Let's do it. I think Sindhu will win. Wow. And I think Rachanok would win. Well, there you have it. Well, you'll have to join us from 10 o'clock tomorrow morning to yes, find out. To, to find out. <laughs> <laughs> if whether Martin's my, got it right or not. <laughs> whether my prediction is completely off. Oh, we've got a, we've got some tremendous line-up for tomorrow, we, haven't we? Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, very much. But sometimes you've got to stick your neck out and... Uh, but I think the women singles is really possibly the most exciting of all the five disciplines. Yeah. And it's so close, it's anyone's guess, but it's just a hunch. Yeah, oh, that's super play. I feel that the Malaysians are standing tall at the moment. And I feel that the French pair are getting more and more down on themselves. Yeah, yeah Liu Ying is much more into into the game at the front now. And uh, whenever she's not there, as you very rightly pointed out, Peng Soon is, is there to help. Yeah. And it's, it's, um, it really makes a big difference. So the so then. So it is a three-point advantage in this third and deciding game to the number three seeds, Chan Pen Soon and Go Liu Ying. Mm, something about the change of pace from the net there. Well, the first couple of points after the change of ends, I think, are absolutely vital as far as the French are concerned. They've got to get their heads back up again. Got to believe in themselves. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, well, well spotted, Tom. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. I would never have worked that out if I was playing this. Okay, he's serving, she's serving. Oh, my goodness. Five serve. So the server nine eleven.
That's in. That's in. That's a great flick serve. So, first three points. Mm. That's just it. It's crucial for the French. Rally. Yeah, well worked by Chan Pingson. So yeah. 12, 11. Do you know what? What's really annoying to me when I'm <laughs> seeing Chan Pingson, that sounds really wrong. <laughs> I, I've spoken to him on two or three occasions this week. Yeah. And I remember once you asked me about the uh, the body art at the uh, the back of his arm. Yes. What it meant, and I still haven't oh. asked him. <laughs> and now when I'm watching him, he says, "Oh, I should have asked him about that." Yeah. <laughs> it really annoys me. his wife for? I haven't got it. No. I haven't got a clue. No, I don't know. <laughs> Can't be his wife. <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about? So I have to remember next time. Next time I see him. Challenge here. Go the union challenges called in. Yeah, indeed it was in. Good call, cool line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. We are edging towards twenty-seven twenty-five. Mm. Missed because she didn't mean to leave there, that. There, there was no touch on it. No. And it did indeed land wide. It did. That's what you call well left. With a smile on your face. <laughs> yes. I don't know what was said by uh, Coach Karen, but whatever he said at the change of ends, the French pair have... They've been much more aggressive. Yes. And as you say, picking up and, and really being a lot more positive. a lovely shot so those little down. pushes you were talking about more yes 14. beautiful example that's what they should do rather than getting into these flat exchanges that's a perfect perfect shot find the mid court area Oh, 
love that song. That's long. No, yeah, she knows it. 16, 15. It was a golden opportunity, wasn't it? Yes. And short. Yeah. Got the shuttle over the head of Go Li Ying. And her movement backwards. Not as quick as it could be. Yeah, she was really caught. Yeah. Great placement of the smash. Ticks over the hour mark, and there's only one point in it. did so well in their defense staying in the rally and when finally the opportunity was there this shot is played up the court didn't he with that round the head cross court smash Jikel yes he did took the chance his partner had to back off from the net so one game all 18 or Some really close matches we've called today. Oh, the error on the return of serve. 19, 18. And on a run of three straight points, now the number three seeds back into the lead. She read it. She was standing there waiting for it. Covered that co shot completely. Go Lu Ying. Look at that. What a miss. Totally mistimed it. Yes. So the winner of this rally is going to have a match point. Somehow I think I've heard that one today. It's been so close. It has, hasn't it? Wonderful matches. And the answer is, is the Olympic silver medalist, Champing Tsun and Go Liu Ying, who have the opportunity. However, it is Champing Tsun who is going to surf. And he is not as good a server as Go Liu Ying. So let's see. I think a flick serve will come. 
I think he will flick and then Tom will attack it. So let's see how it goes. Exactly. Yeah. So match point is saved. So 20 all, extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Oh, it's short. Service error at this stage. Second match point opportunity for the Malaysians, Chan and Go. That's wide. And the Malaysians, Chan Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying, uh, beaten finalists four years ago at the All England Championships, are through to the semi final once more. A thrilling match uh, against the number seven seeds, Tom Zikel and Delphine Del Rue. Coming from a game down 17 21, 21 18, 22 20 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and six minutes. Well, what a day it has been. Absolutely extraordinary. It started very nearly 20, uh, nearly 12 hours ago. But we know the semi finalists now, the line up for tomorrow. And as I say, it was almost 12 hours ago that it all started, and it all started with women's doubles and the defending champions and three times world championship silver medalists. Fukushima and Hirota had to go the full distance against Birch and Smith from England. Then it was men's singles and the 2019 winner, the two-time and reigning world champion Kenta Momota went down to the Malaysian Li Zijia, the number six seed. So he's in his second consecutive semi-final here at the All England Championships. Then it was men's doubles and Kimura and Sonoda, the world championship bronze medalists beating the Olympic bronze medalists, Ellis and Smith in three games, but very convincing in that deciding game. Endo and Watanabe, the defending champions in the men's doubles, beating the Danes, uh, Christiansen and Noor in two close games. Uh, then it was the first of the women's singles and the uh, former world champion, Ratchanuk Intanon, uh, beating Mia Blipfeldt in three games. And then it was another women's singles, and Nozomi Okuhara, the 2016 winner, beating Busanan Ongbangarangpan in an hour and 13 minutes. Three games, having lost the opening game, 21-16 in the decider. Victor Axelson was very, very impressive in his match. Of course, he is the defending champion, beating Tamasin in two straight games. Then we had another thriller in the women's singles and the reigning world champion Pusala Venkata Sindhu coming from a game down against Akane Yamaguchi, the beaten finalist from three years ago, winning 21-19 in the deciding game. Then it was mixed doubles and Ellis and Smith, the European Games gold medalists, have reached their second consecutive semi-final at the All England Championships with victory over Mickelson and Sobu of Denmark. And as we've just witnessed in the mixed doubles, uh, Champion Sun and Go Liu Ying, the Olympic silver medalists, having to come from a game down before beating Tom Zikel and Delphine Del Rue. 22 20 in the deciding game. My goodness me, what a day it has been. And we have the pleasure 
of doing it all again tomorrow because it's semi-finals all 10 semi-finals tomorrow same time as today so it starts at 10 a.m local time that's 10 hundred gmt so from all of us here in birmingham what a wonderful day it's been we look forward to tomorrow and semi-finals day from morton frost and myself jill clark and all of us here we'll see you tomorrow bye for now <laughs>